Hey guys, just wanted to uh, actually uh, post a video really quick about the NBA upcoming season, uh, season preview. A um, lot of uh, interesting storylines going on now uh, in the NBA as they get ready to tip off tonight with the uh, Golden State Warriors going against the Brooklyn Nets and then uh, the nightcap going to be the, the Lakers and Clippers going at it. Uh, full disclosure, I'm a huge Golden State Warriors fan. I've uh, been a huge uh, Steph Curry fan since his uh, Davidson days. I actually used to live in Davidson during the time that uh, he was doing his thing over there and uh, when they went on that deep run in uh, March Madness. So uh, just full disclosure on that before I uh, give you my quick uh, thoughts on the season. Uh, should be an interesting season uh, coming back uh, from the bubble there. Um, I think this year is the year we're going to get a surprise uh, champion. Um, I would have definitely taken the Golden State Warriors with a healthy Clay Thompson uh, on the roster, but unfortunately, uh, as you know, he uh, blew out his Achilles. So uh, he's not healthy right now, and he's going to be out for the season. Uh, I do expect the Warriors to make the playoffs. I expect uh, Steph Curry to be special uh, as he is uh, in most, most uh, games and most nights and most seasons. So um, I expect him to make a, a strong run at the MVP possibly. Um, but I do expect them to probably get bounced in the first round of the playoffs. Uh, hopefully I'm wrong about that, but uh, they got a solid team that they're not, they're certainly not championship caliber, I don't think, without Clay. So that leaves us uh, with the usual suspects. You got your Clippers, you got your Lakers in the West, you got your Celtics, you got your Sixers, who I think are going to be much better this year, uh, in, the, in the entire crew there uh, in the uh, Eastern Conference. So um, I think we're going to see a uh, Phoenix Suns, actually, uh, coming out of the West uh, with the addition of Chris Paul, um, whom I'm, I'm not that fond of, to be honest with you. Uh, but the addition of Chris Paul, uh, and I saw something developing in that team uh, in the bubble, and I would have loved to have seen them somehow be able to snag the eighth seed uh, away from Portland. Uh, the Suns went undefeated in the bubble, uh, so I definitely think there's something, something brewing there. I think they uh, got something going on, and I think with the addition of Chris Paul, uh, bringing back the same coaching staff, uh, DeAndre uh, Ayton uh, coming into his own. I think the Phoenix Suns are ready to compete, and I think they're ready to compete on a high level. Uh, and I, I like them to get to the finals. Uh, on the other side, uh, I like the Philadelphia 76ers. Uh, as long as they don't make a trade for James Harden to get to the finals on the eastern side, I think they're ready to compete. Uh, the addition of Doc Rivers uh, as head coach uh, is going to do that team uh, justice. I believe he's going to get the very best out of those guys. I believe Doc Rivers is an unbelievable coach, um, an underrated coach. Um, I think he gets a bad rap a lot of times, but I think he's uh, definitely uh, a championship coach. So um, I think that's going to be uh, the matchup, the Suns against the Sixers. I like the Phoenix Suns to win the championship this year uh, in a shocker. Uh, Chris Paul finally getting the ring. Um, and, uh, yeah, so uh, I know I'm probably going to get some people thinking I'm uh, out absolutely insane, but uh, I really like the Phoenix Suns to win it all this year. Thanks, guys.